Well, that's it, man. Might as well call it a day. End of the road. Finito. Yep. El Dunno, as they say nowhere at all, except for <laughs> American movies where they think Mexicans talk like that. Yep. But yeah, we're done. <laughs> We've reached that fucking bottom of the fucking barrel because today we're going to talk about our favorite porn stars and why. Hit that shitty ass music! All right, man, this is how we're going to fucking do this. You're going to bend over this table, I'm going to grab onto your hips, and we're going to ride into infinity. That sounded super fucking bad. Yep. It's not what I meant. I meant you and I are taking a trip down Porno Lane. Now, Jim Holiday, we ain't, and he was a historian and a master at his craft. May he rest in peace. He is dead, right? I don't freaking know who that is. What kind of porn connoisseur are you if you don't know who Jim Holiday is? I'm not He's really... the master, the guru, the man, I'm not the lie. legend. I'm not a I'm not a proud porn connoisseur. I'm one of those that like does his thing and then like feels shame. Nobody should be. It really is. Apparently, a... you are. No, it's, it, no. Well, no see, who Jim Con is or whatever. Yeah, Jim, Jim Holiday. There you go. Nobody should be. It really is kind of like a fucking. It's you know, not good. It's a it's a disease. Yeah. Really, but uh, you know, since we have it, might as well make fun of it by saying. These are the ones we like, and then are ashamed of later. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, we have some runners-up that don't quite make the list. Tell me who they are and why they didn't make it. I hear you only have one runner-up. I do only have one runner-up, and that's a, a a lady. Not a man. I'd hope so. Yeah, a chick. Well, look, there was several men that were almost going to make it in there. But they didn't. Barely. I will say this. I got to the point. Where I could recognize dicks. That's pretty sad. I've never reached that point. Like, oh, look, that's Herschel Savage. Fucked up ass I dick. Es I especially never knew the people's name. Other than Lex and the Steel, which apparently is, I'm a fan of. This brings me back to Jim Holiday. He was a historian, and that's the reason I enjoyed him a lot. Mm -hmm. Also, he made some pornos. But anyway, go ahead. He was a director. But anyway, go ahead. My, my runner-up is a chick called Chastity Lynn, I think. Mainly because she looks <coughs> like a freaking, um... Was it Jeanette McCurdy? I, I could see it. Um... That being said, the reason why she didn't make it in is her b-hole is looser than my freaking clown shoe's foot. And it's kind of like, a, no, that's not cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind a loose b-hole. <laughs> yeah, I know who she is. And uh, yeah, she's pretty hot. She's pretty attractive. I throw it a bone. And by that, I mean I throw a literal bone into the chasm of her anus. Because in fact, it is rather large. There's also, I have one more, actually. Uh -huh. There's also this chick, and it's mainly because it's tied to a tail, quick tail. Uh, there's also this chick called uh, Dylan Harper, who looks exactly like a chick I used to know, that I used to go to, uh, visit, to do uh, paperwork. And I thought she was hot, and then I found a porn, I was like, oh my god, it's her, isn't it? And then I was like, well, the reason why she didn't make it in, though, she's kind of got a uniboob going. She does have a uniboob. Right? Yeah, and it's... It's not a good Once uniboob. you notice it, you're like, oh, the uniboob. <laughs> that uniboob, yeah. gal. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, I, you know what I don't don't like about Dylan Harper is is the the face is like a weird pseudo dwarvish look to of, it. Yeah, I see it. Not dwarves as in Lord of the Rings, but as in dwarfism dwarves. Yeah. Uh, not that, that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean. It's not exactly the most uh, attractive thing I on a normal a, proportion woman. I found a hot dwarf on Instagram, <laughs> but that's another video. Yeah, hot, <coughs> hot dwarves coming soon. Uh. 20 person list yeah it's epic trust me but anyway yeah 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 uh she'd definitely not make it on my list but uh uh so that's an honorable mention uh, uniboob is the reason yeah, <laughs> just definitely. gonna say that uh yeah okay uh i got some honorable mentions too <clears throat> lark in love because she's got the meanest head game on earth but the reason she didn't make it onto the list is she's got a jacked up ass tattoo on her stomach yes that Dude, sucks i'm not gonna lie i was into the i would jump on the on the love game for a long time but that freaking tat sucks massive ding -a -ling. that tat is horrid it, the it's worst. so shitty that the sight of it sometimes makes me flaccid yeah it, it's it's the terrible tattoo quite possibly. and i like chicks with tattoos that's not a good i one. actually think tattoos on a chick when strategically placed can be very attractive this is not strategically placed. 
And it looks like fucking ass weeds. Yeah. That's right. Literal ass hairs is what this looks like. And on top of that, besides this, the other reason she didn't make it on the list is because she has a propensity to do like special request videos. Mm. And they're always weird as fuck. Like, I'm your mom sucking you off. Yeah. Or, or I'm, you know, I don't know. Really, they're just kind of that. Like, oh, son, help me take this stress off. Next thing you know, I was like, oh, man, this is not... This is ruining the flow. So, uh, like, I, I found a cheat. Like, I would just skip to the good part and not get the story part. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty much me all the time. So, I don't have any story hang-ups on any of these chicks. I have definite story hang-ups. Like, fuck. I, I just got... You know, so that's why she didn't make it. That's that's a little too much for me. Uh, another honorable mention for me is the legendary. I don't even have to introduce this wench. And that's Sasha Gray. But the reason she didn't make it is because though I like her sassiness and her uh, intelligence and her sarcasm, it also comes off as very unattractive in porn because she seems horribly disinterested in everything in porn. Outside of porn, she's a pretty cool chap. Pretty cool. In porn, that approach, super unhot. But she's hot, but that it's like... I'm just seeing a sarcastic ass. Again. Getting boned. I don't have that problem because I hit that mute. I, I can't do the mute. I can't. It's might as well I'll fuck the air. I kind of have to because I have zero privacy in the room. <laughs> so, so it's definitely the old mute you, you, is you, definitely you, it. You do have a thorough way, you know, which is often tread by uh, uh, but the motherly unit. Yeah. So that would be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> freaking people mm. yeah, anyway. <laughs> and uh, i got a third honorable mention and this is an ebony goddess sarah banks Sasha Banks, smoking body uh the reason she didn't make it is she really was going to be on the list but she got squeezed out of it by by the other five there's no negative to her that i've seen thus far but she is hot in my opinion all right anyway Let's get down to this list. Show me your number five, and why is it Lexington Steel? Now, I do have to uh, kind of say something before we go into the list, and mm -hmm. that is that I'm I'm not really a, a a viewer of porn that knows stars. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really have that many faves. I just click on whatever looks hot. Uh, but that has led to some faves. So this is pretty much... It's definitely led to you stroking this action yeah, figure off like, camera. Like my ding -a -ling. That's how I stroke it, by the way. So, yeah, like, I'm, I might not have the best. It's just what I've found. Mm -hmm. I'm not a connoisseur like you are. Or apparently James freaking Keeler or whatever that guy's name was. Who? Jim Holiday, damn it. He was a director. It's sad, dude. Uh, He's a historian. Okay, so I'm going to go with a recent one. And one that I could kind of get someone being like, uh, why? Because she does kind of have a fish face. Mm -hmm. um, that being said... Normally not my bag, but I would totally hit that. And it's this chick, Bridget B. I oh, think. Bridget B. Yeah. yeah. You know, I first encountered Bridget B. about uh, seven years ago, give or take. And uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Not it would kind of killed it for me mm. was uh, the boobs were too big for my taste. Oh, you're gonna see a trend in this list. <laughs> and uh, the tan is so inconsistent. Yeah. That I'm like, what the? F I Can will you say, pick a tan. I will say. It's kind of evened out recently. I've noticed. But yeah, sometimes it's like, why is she freaking like purple? Yeah, yeah. But no, no, I definitely get it. Uh, she, she's a hottie for sure. De Again, normally not in my bag. But for some reason. Yeah, it's it's kind of like that Jennifer Tilly thing where you're like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I, not traditionally what I'd go for, but in, this, yeah. in this package, I'd definitely go for it. Yeah, all yeah. right. All right, hit me with your number four. Oh, these aren't in any order, but now that you said that, I will put them in an order, and that is my number four. Is that another recent? Hey, Mia Malkova. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that. That is who she is, yeah. Now... And I knew that is the weird part. Now, uh, <coughs> weirdly, this is a this is because I think she seems like a cool chick. Mm -hmm. I've seen her, like, talk and, uh, mainly on her Instagram and shit, and she seems like she's kind of cool. And, and then th once that happened, I was like, hey, I would hit that. And I was into it. No, I haven't been made privy to a lot of her vids. Uh, mainly because, uh, you know, 
the you got going back to Jim Holiday here. God damn it! He pointed out that uh, the rotation of of porno stars for chicks is on a five year basis. It does seem. To Whereas be. with males, they they've been around since like the sixties and seventies and shit, and they're still working some of them. So it's kind of hard to catch up when you've been away for so many years. And uh, she her star recently recent, yeah. rose. And your number three. My number three is, is is one that I like, but there's definitely some negatives too. Called, uh, I want to say Shion Cooper, or it might be Shion, but I think it's Shion. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason why I say there is a negatives is because she's got no ass. Oh, uh, she's all rack and no ass, there's huh? A massive rack. Great rack. Um, really good rack. Pretty good face. Um, actually, really good face. I like it. I dig it. I think she's 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 not from here, so she's got a weird accent, which is another negative because it's not a good uh, weird accent. It's like a ooh, that's weird, and she's got no ass. Yeah, no ass. She's got a massive rack by the looks of that, but no ass. Yeah, I, uh, that's uh, that being said, weird. All the vids I've seen kind of shoot around the ass because it's kind of necessary. Oh, they know. Yeah, believe me, it's not a great ass. Sometimes it looks good. But for the most part, the ass is, is definitely not great. That being said, totally hit that. And your number dose. My number two is the opposite on the end of no ass. And that's Massive this ass. girl. Oh, the infamous, the world famous Alexis Texas. Yep. A.K.A. She of the Massive Anus. Alex ass, Tex ass. Who, by the way, prides herself on knowing... How to pose her ass in front of the screens. Yeah. I got that from uh, Jim Holiday. No, I'm just kidding. God he's, damn it. He's dead by the time she said that. But she has a, has a very profound knowledge of what people like to see. And she waxes philosophical about it in behind the scenes footage. Yes, I'm that guy God damn, that dude. watches commentary on shit. We're like complete opposites here. You're like freaking Jim H- Hongi. 2. Holiday 2.0 and I'm like ashamed of my I, I once bought a, a porno not for the porno scenes but for the commentary from Jim Holiday god damn it it's just interesting so your number one is it's, Jim Holiday in, the history of pornography is super interesting I'm just uh, that's what I'm saying Jim and Hol- the psychology behind some of these people's uh, decisions to do this insanely interesting to me anyway she's, Go got, figure. she's got massive ass even more interesting than that Alexis Texas Massive fucking ass! Uh, not rack heavy, but that's okay. Uh, weirdly enough, I tend to no, go... No, it works. Yeah, weirdly yeah. enough, I tend to go... Opposite to my list, I tend to go less rack heavy and more <coughs> ass heavy. But it just happens that the chicks that I frequent more often happen to have massive racks! That's because you want the ass next to their face so their boobs substitute as ass. That you makes, sick fuck. Made zero sense. Anyway, uh, Alexis Texas needs no explanation other yeah. than she has Massive ass. best ass possibly important history. She does have a weird tooth gap. I like it, man. I like the tooth gap. I I, I kind of switch back and forth. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't. Either way, I'm still seeding to it, so it doesn't matter. She finally broke the no anal uh, policy. Yep. Well, that was weird. Anyway, <laughs> number one, here what? it is, your numero uno, the big one, the big kahuna. My number one is uh, Siri, not Siri? from the iPhone, but a, a chick called Siri. Now, it's interesting because much like us, only we were never hot, her her weight seems to fluctuate, fluctuate. Complete, like big time. Sometimes she'll be massive, not humongous, but like really larger. Like, than yeah, larger. Own. And sometimes she'll be like fit, like the, that picture. Every time though, I would hit that shit hardcore. Weirdly enough, kind of like the fatter version. The, uh, there's this uh, porno star called Kelly Devine, also known for her humongous ass. And recently I noticed very uneven tits. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, that happens. All tits are technically sort of uneven. There's, there's, it's rare that they aren't. But the degree of unevenness can be alarming at times. And I saw a recent video. I was like, the fuck is with them tits? Anyway, she fluctuates too yeah. a lot in weight. And uh, oddly enough... Saw her in a more uh, poor sign fashion, and I was like, hey, you know what? I kind of did yeah. this uh, little chubbier version of her. Interestingly, I know the picture I show you, she had red hair, mm-hmm. but there's two different eras to her. It is the red hair era <coughs> and the blonde era, which 
I mean, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a pretty big fan of red hair. If you ever see my video games, I have pretty much the fan of red in general. I've mentioned before that I get hard. Red hair is <laughs> to you what schoolgirl uniforms are to the Guardian. Pretty much. I swear, he puts them on except, every fucking avatar he ever makes. Except my characters don't look like ass. Those I can actually, avatars are the worst. But most of my characters have red hair. Anyway. And, and that chick has red hair. And you would think that would be my favorite era. Especially because I'm not a fan of blondes. Blonde era? Totally works. Because she cuts her hair. It's kind of like a little bob. Not really a bob, but like kind of like short hair. Um, and, and it's blonde. And she looks freaking hot. It's like a Marilyn Monroe with... Bigger tits. So I'm into that. Hardcore. Especially when she's pig. 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 When she's fat. Chunkier. I'm into that. Hardcore. I can dig. I can dig a ditch. And of course. Like you just did for yourself by calling her fat. My number one is uh, Lex and Steel. Uh, always number one. All right. Well, uh, here are my number. Uh, here are my uh, top five. And uh, my number five is Ash Hollywood. Now, she is blonde, so you might hate her immediately. But the reason I like Ash Hollywood, one, she she's short. I'm thinking for short chicks. But she she's incredibly fit. She has small rack, which I'm a fan of. She has great A, a.k.a. ass. But the best part about her is she looks like a hotter version of Gwen Stefani. I think she looks more like, um, what's her name, Elizabeth Banks? I would say... Hell no! Well, in that picture, she does. Oh, trust me. She does if it doesn't look like Gwen Stefani in that picture. Oh. Oh, she does. All right. But anyway, uh, my number four is Crystal Boyd. Now, this chick is a foreign chick. I don't even know where f- the fuck she comes from, honestly. I haven't delved into foreign porn history, courtesy of Jim Holiday's cousin from the Eastern Bloc. Yon. Yeah, Jan, I don't know where the fuck she's from, but she's definitely European, most likely Eastern European. And I've noticed one thing, she she either has a boyfriend and or husband that she always does her scenes with. And, and so so you so I've become oddly familiar with his fucking wang because of that. Like serious dude, I know your damn contours that licks. But the reason I came across her is because a lot of people were 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 pastiching her into into compilation videos with with fucking taylor swift Damn. i don't think she looks anything like her <laughs> you also watch those huh but well i came across it but uh mm. uh i don't think she looks anything like her but the body type is very similar but anyway i, th- I thought she was uh a smoke she show she kind of looks like uh why am i trying to assign people yeah <laughs> criticize me for that fucking shit <laughs> yeah what does she look like? Um, Candyman's yeah. husband. Candyman's tranny? Can- Candyman's tran. My number three is a classic, still uh, pseudo-active, I guess, in the industry. Uh, liked her before, still like her now. And uh, my number one favorite thing about her is, one, she has the body type that I kind of like, which is kind of the Crystal Boyd body type, which I just showed you. But, most importantly, black hair and pale skin, which is my thing. And that's Stoya. Oh, yeah, she's a thing. She's a classic. She's kind of hard to find anything of. Yeah, uh, nowadays especially. Yeah. And because a lot of the stuff from the past is has been ousted out of, you know, free sites. Yeah. So, uh. I get it, that's though I have not been exposed that much to her. But, <coughs> this is the only one that I know so far, so that's good. My number two is another Eastern European chickadee. Uh... I, at first, I thought she was like uh, of some Latin descent. Like I thought maybe she was from Spain, because some of the people she was in scenes with were obviously from Spain. But later it became obvious that she was Eastern European. I think she's Hungarian, in fact. What? Uh, but she has an accent that sounds very, very Spanish at times. Anyway, her name is Amira Adara, and I'm gonna give you. I'm going to give you two guesses, but I'm hoping you'll get it in the first guess as to why I like this chick. That ass? That's a good guess, because she does have a spectacular she ass, kinda looks, but it's not the ass. She kind of looks like a witch? Is it, cause, does the it nose! Hag yes, the, it's not the hag, it's the nose. She has kind of a hooked nose, and I'm all about about that. Look at the, look it up close. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a freaking hook nose if yeah. I've ever seen one. For some fucking reason. So apparently you that's... also have a hag thing. Oh, I have a hag thing. It's just I like my hags to be attractive. Not horrible harpies. Still a hag, though. Yeah. No, but she's she's super hot, and she has this nose thing, which I, I'm, I, I can't explain it. I like it. I like it a lot. And yeah, but the fucking ass, of course, helps. It's epic. Anyway, my number one is virtually unknown because she's more, uh, she does more work for like fetish sites and shit like that. So her stuff is incredibly hard to find. I can't even remember how I came across her, but I, 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 I can, found I, you know, one. I'd venture a few guesses. <coughs> I don't want to come back to James Hoong. It's Jim Holiday, damn it. And he, he wasn't around, unfortunately. Uh, rest in peace. God damn it. But, uh, He's your idol. He was a, he, dude, he was infinitely interesting when he spoke about history. But anyway, up for him. But anyway, uh, he wasn't around. But uh, I came across one of her vids and I was like, oh, this, this chick is pretty attractive. Let me find some more. Couldn't find shit. And it's because she does like specialty sites. Basically, that's all she does. And apparently she likes like the harder edge of porn, uh, which I'm fine with. Huh. It's just super hard to find anything. But what attracted me to her was her looks. She she's got, she's got like a you know like American sweetheart look, juxtaposed with the fact that she's apparently a fucking freak. Kind of a good combo for me. Anyway, her name's Chloe Camilla, and that's her, right there. Is that a short hair? That is short hair. Yeah. Some people pull it off. Uh, she's uh, I've only seen like a scene or two where she doesn't have the short hair, mm. but yeah. I can get behind it. I could definitely get behind that. And thrust insanely into the fast air. into the air because she would yeah. leave immediately. Anyway, this has been us I have, going I, down oh, Jim Holiday's yes, route. Apparently. But you have more to say. I do have all one. All of a sudden. I do have one that was going to make it into my freaking honorable mentions. But much like this chick, she was freaking hard to find anything of. Mm -hmm. And don't even know the name. I'll put up the pic. But uh, uh, names have varied. The one that I found the most often is Brandy something. Uh, kind of like a black chick. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of like. Well, okay, she's she black. has just tan skin. No, or? she's a black chick. Okay, black chick. Um, brandy, brandy something. Again, black chick. There's only there's a couple vids. There's one where she, well, there's one where she's sucking a dude's dingling, and that's the one you'll find the most everywhere. Often. Yeah, that's the only one you'll find anywhere. But if you dig, <coughs> in, if you dig through, there's like a couple more. But I would totally hit that. She kind of looked like, to me at least, she kind of looked like that chick in that shitty show I used to watch, One on One. I seem to remember that, but I don't. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyla Pratt. Yeah, she kind of looks like her. Oh, yeah, that would be her. Uh, only, only uh, I would say the face is a little slimmer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a compact version. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Squashed into I'm, a can. I'm, I'm into that chick. Hardcore! But again, she's hard to find anything of. Yeah, uh, here's uh, an obscure one for you. This one didn't make the list, but if this list had been made 10 years ago, she would have definitely made the list. And it's the uh, it's, she went under various names too, but the most notably she did most of her work under the name Curious with a K, single name, Curious. Uh, she also did uh, work as Italian princess and uh, I forgot what the fuck else. I'll ask Jim Holiday when, yeah. you know, I die or something. Anyway, uh she had, like, she was rambunctious little package, first of all. She had a smoking body. But there was that, like, uh, this is just a girl that likes this type of feeling to her. Which is, like, rare yeah. in this type of shit. You feel, like, the emptiness in a lot of these people. Which sucks. But uh, she had, like, a rambunctiousness. Uh, 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 joy to vivre, if you will. She bringing in the Jim Holiday. <laughs> God damn. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but, but, but again... It, it, she had a very unique look. She was definitely not for everybody. Uh, some people would even venture to call her ugly. I would venture to call her hot, but that's me. And uh, also, she had a big nose, which uh, apparently I love. So that that's is, a fucking that is thing. your thing. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you uh, the Guardian's top favorite right now. Uh huh. Lexing, 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 Lexing and Steel. <laughs> he does love them BBCs, and he's said it gonna, many times. Yeah. What is up with that? He always like requests BBCs. That is weird. That is weird. I don't know. We'll have it's to ask, like, we'll have to bring him on camera and ask him, what is this? What is this? It's like you could ask him, like, what's your thang? And he's not going to tell you, like, oh, I like big old tits or massive A. He'll say BBCs. For like, shit. And then he'll try to hide it, like, you know, with a hot chick or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You're like, 
You can't. Hold up. You just you can't said asterisk BBC. the hot chick. The hot chick should be the focus. Why is the BBC the focus? <laughs> or NEC. The, the what is it? Uh, BWC, BRC. Is there are there any Native American porn stars? Tiny Chungai. <laughs> chodes you're like hey, you seriously why are you focusing on this yeah any focus on seas is a problem it doesn't matter since whence they came since we're on the topic you know what the angle i hate hmm. the bottom angle looking up where you're just seeing a freaking guy's ass and nuts slapping the camera yeah. for a good 25 minutes and you know what's weird that they, they, they kind of excuse that as a close-up to to the girls privates but it's mostly dudes. But yeah, the, that particular angle and the movement allows mostly for guy ass, which sucks. Second, they say we also have to consider the female audience. No, they make porn for females, yeah. and it's uh, it's a lot more erotica oriented. Yeah. I know and, I've seen some. Then and then it you know comes off as you know as something that would be alluring to them without having this fucking angle. A fucking guy's gonad. Dude, I've had many times where I'm like, oh shit. Or like, for example, I find a new scene of a chick I like. And you're like, oh, I haven't seen this shit. Click on that. Click on that. And you'll get like two minutes of the chick. The rest of the freaking massive nuts in your face. And you're like, what is this? Why? <coughs> Why is your entire flank a guy's asshole in my freaking face? I hate that. You know what else is worse? Is as, as bad as that? POV videos. Where the POV is just the guy looking at the ass area as he humps it. And you see, like, yeah. the bottom of his body yeah. and her ass that like for 20 minutes. And you're like, dude, look up. Look at her. Look at her face. Look at her reactions. Just, just this area right here for it's 20 straight good. fucking hours. Anyways, that's a waste of time. Yeah. Close-ups to an extreme are a waste of time. Jim Holiday would go against that. Anyway, it's been us... Going down the tubes in a hurry. Ahab, Goon Tick, hit like, share, subscribe, and notification for more inane conversations of the sort and not of the sort. We're out of here. This music's to be sounds. I'll count shit for you. It ain't goes in Saturday night. Don't cup of copulent juice. This music's to be sounds. I'll count shit for you.